everyone. I am Alice of KHR Arts and Cloud Orchid Publishing, and today we are going to talk about my book review of Born Blue by Han Nolan. So this story follows a girl who is the daughter of a heroin addict. So she unfortunately was born addicted to heroin. So she is unfortunately starting off life already with not a full deck of cards. And her life is just difficult at every turn. Her name is Jamie. However, she prefers to be called Lashaya. And a big part of that reason is because being raised in the foster system, she becomes very close to her foster brother, and he is black. And so she starts to see herself as black, and she starts to adopt that whole culture with how she talks and how she behaves, and she becomes obsessed with blues music. And she has a very good singing voice, and she loves to sing, and the book continuously talks about how her voice just well, at least her singing voice, does not match her, especially as a child, that it just sounds like a grown-up singing voice, even as a child. And so it's this struggle of her trying to claw her way out of her lot in life and being continuously drawn back into these struggles by her own devices and also by, unfortunately, just the way that our society works, but her continuing to work hard to try and persevere and achieve her goals. Now, this book is a particularly difficult read because it does deal with substance abuse, it does deal with relationship abuse, it deals with the main character not being a reliable narrator, and that there are really no good guys or bad guys in this book. It's all about the human condition and that everyone has good qualities and bad qualities and that sometimes people make bad choices, but that doesn't necessarily make them bad. And unfortunately, Jamie slash Lashaya makes a lot of really bad decisions especially with that one of the bad decisions she makes is she becomes a teenage mother. And so in that respect, she's kind of following in her mother's footsteps. And she also like does a bunch of stuff to be really awful to her foster family, even though they're very nice to her. They're very good people. And she just rails against them at every turn. And it's just kind of this whole like she gets in the way of herself a lot. And the story isn't really about any sort of grand ending. It's not about any sort of really big end goal, even though at the beginning it's presented a little bit as like her becoming a famous singer is kind of the end goal. But as we go through the story, it's very much more of a human focus about the human condition and the choices we make in life and how that impacts our life going forward. And so I feel like there aren't really like spoilers other than what happens at the very end of the story, which I don't want to spoil for y'all because it's a very important part of the story and it's also the ending that kind of brings everything together. But it's just very much watching Jamie slash Lashaya go through life and make these choices and seeing how she deals with those choices and the fact that ultimately she's able to live a better life and be a better person than her mother was. And that's kind of like the idea of the happiest ending that we can possibly get for a story like this is that at least she, you know, is one step above, you know, where her station in life was positioned to be. But it is a tough read. There are a lot of tough subjects that come up. There's really kind of no winning in this story, especially because she gets in her own way on top of having so much stacked against her just from the very beginning. So I do caution people about that, that this, this is not exactly a book that you read for like a fun, happy afternoon read. This is very much a very serious subject read. So take that in mind. But it is a very good story. And it's a very good humanist story. And I honestly learned a lot about this story. I read it back when I was in high school in the early 2000s, between like 2003 and 2006. And prior to reading this story, I never knew anybody. At least, you know, I wasn't aware that I knew anybody that was struggling with substance abuse. And so I learned a lot about that reading this story and what that experience is like and how, you know, it's that idea of 
just because people do bad things doesn't make them bad people. And also this idea of just because people have stigmas against them, that doesn't make them inhuman. That oftentimes we kind of see in society that drug addicts are built up to be these like inhuman monsters that are dirt and like not worthy and stuff. But at the end of the day, they're people with their own problems and their own stories. And some of them have their own triumphs and stuff like that. And so that's really what this story is about is exploring that really tough subject matter and I do think that it is an important story and that more people should read it and it definitely humanizes the situation and it really makes you think more about the idea of how do we help people like this rather than seeing them for the stigma and pushing them away and all of that so it is a compelling important story but it is also a difficult story so while i do recommend this book i do put those caveats on them so that people don't just jump in not expecting what exactly they're in for so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a like and if you're new subscribe all right y'all thank you so much for watching take care Bye-bye.